Ms. Cross? Here. Mr. Kenya? Yes. Ms. Sholey? Here. Dr. Tharp? Here. Mr. Wolf? Here. All right. Item G on page 2, review and approval of June 24, 2014, regular meeting minutes of the Board of Education. A motion? So moved. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Mascholi. Second by Dr. Tharp. Ms. Gross? Yes. Catania? Yes. Mr. Mascholi? Yes. Dr. Tharp? Yes. Mr. Wolf? Yes. All right. Kirk, presentation and recognition. Um, yeah, we have some new teachers. I would like everybody to uh, meet this evening. Uh, we're actually ordering new shirts, so I'll get you a new shirt next month if you don't mind. Okay. Um, we have Trisha Matura at the end, uh, going to be in second grade this year. We have Christian Moyer over there, and I think you're in second grade also, right? If I remember yes. right. Okay. Have that, have that conversation we had? Okay. Uh, Erica. Uh, Tempor Temporado, right? Okay, she's going to be at the high school for science. Um, Vanessa is middle school language arts. Yep. Uh, Placing Kim Ballard in, uh, down here. And then Jill Zinger is intervention specialist at the elementary school. So congratulations. Welcome aboard. Uh, nice to have you. Thanks for coming. Very good. Um, that way they can kind of put a face with the name. So very good. We had a couple last ten last month. So um, and then I also had under my part we were to do the tour, but we'll finish the, the meeting with the tour. Okay. Sounds good. Very good. That was the presentation part. Okay. Do we do? Uh, not on the presentation, but whenever you get the. How oh, nice. We'll do round table discussion. Uh, I have some follow-ups from last month concerning the vending machine. I spoke with both the Coca-Cola vendor and the Pepsi, and Mr. Zinger, uh, you and I, Mr. Baker. Um, hopefully we can meet with the gentleman from Pepsi. I have like Gatorade over Powerade and uh, Pepsi over Coke, so uh, we could meet with both. But So I've got information to share with you about how the situation would work with Pepsi. And the gentleman is actively interested in talking to us. So we set something up this month. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing that. And I, the young man who was outspoken and helpful to us last month gave us the ideas from the students. And a lot of them had merit, other than uh, drinks that don't cost extra than other milk. But, and salt. But I did want to speak to some of them here and see if there's anything we could do on a short-term, quick basis. And, and that... One of them was the uh, outside lunch tables, additional lunch tables, and maybe some umbrellas. Uh, well, the tables came out to be a little over $700 a table. So that's up to you guys. And the umbrellas are almost 300 at the time you get. Like ones that just don't blow away. From what I've heard, there seems to be not enough tables when it's nice. How many do you think, from what you've seen, that we could use additional tables? It, it, uh, I don't know if we need any, but if you want to get them, it's up to you guys, I guess. It's Can we afford to get them? I mean, it's everything's money. So I mean, Do we have it? It might be PI, possibly. You know, we're doing the trap right now. Some additional paving. We could look at it. Same with the sign. Yeah, let's we look can, at it. We can see where we're at when we go to buy the sign, Mitch. I guess the question I would have is, actually, how many seats do we have with the tables that are there? And... Are they saying there's not enough seating because they'll have two kids at a table or three kids at a table, but it actually seats eight and they don't want to sit together? Right. Yeah. So I'd really like to find out why, actually how many people can sit outside number-wise. Good point. On, yeah, I'd like to see if you know, we could have Mr. Vega get that. Yeah, and, you know, I just ballpark it, something close, but, you know, you know last time somebody would say there's no seating, but you've got five tables that are half full. Right. Okay. Yeah, further. I know they're round, you know, they're the, like the octagon type, but... Uh, I don't know how many seats they'll have here. Okay. Well, something to look into. Now, I know this is one everybody's going to be interested in, a heated swing set. I'm not sure where that came from. <laughs> but, uh, and and there, every person that filled these out did put the vending machine, so obviously that's an interest. And they did mention more fruits and vegetable choices. I don't know um, what our offering is at this point. Well, I know there's vegetables every day at lunch, and I know depending on if that's high school, I guess you're going through, there are 
containers. I know they sell kiwi and bananas and oranges and apples. And yeah. I mean, I don't know what they... Well, and I know you can buy even the containers of peaches and uh, well, pears. But when they those cards, remember we were in that turmoil? So possibly that might be why that came on there is my thought because I know that they have a lot of offerings. But in the month of May when we had that, they were no longer providing the bars and it totally changed the cafeteria. So I'm wondering if maybe that's why that came up on there for the kids. Potentially. Just a thought. Okay. And uh, Mr. Zenger, we talked about the sign as a one-off. You said there was going to be information yeah. gathered. You know, Walker, did you think you were going to stop? I did get some information. They sent some pictures and stuff. Uh, but I guess our, what John and I have talked about, it's just to wait until I guess the dust settles with the, you know, the projects that we have going on to make sure we don't run into any glitches until the bleachers get in and uh, the office and stuff gets up because we had to move some securities when we started moving the office around. So just so we don't, like, I guess overdo it, we were trying to wait. But I do have a packet in the office, too, from Stuart Signs. You still have to piss out, though. The price for a sign, they said, would probably be around 40000 delivered. Thirty-six to forty thousand. Okay, I thought there was some bids. You have to put out the bid though if it's over twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five. And that doesn't include the electric or anything. That's no, just that's just a sign that's being just delivered. A sign. It's a nice sign though. I mean, it's it's we have the, the cost in our list of PI expenditures for this year, mm -hmm. but we just want to get these other. We'll notice the next few weeks. Okay. To see where we're going to be, just to make sure there's nothing in PI. Is it a scrolling sign? Maybe I know and I'm just forgetting. Is it like? You can, you can computerize you, what it yeah, says from inside. One of those. Okay, because I'm thinking that's a lot of money. Yeah, and it's all calculated. They, you know, when I talk to them, they're based out of Florida, and they actually pull up your address. And he says, "Oh, I see your other sign over there right now." So he could see the sign at the elementary school from Florida, looking by the satellite. So, okay. um, and he estimated the speed. So you need so many. I don't want to say decimals, but not decimals. Hey, but, uh, yeah, per letter height, it was like every eight. ten mile an hour. You know, so he said, oh, it's 55 out here or so. They had all calculated out what we would need for the front. So that's how we come up with that figure. Well, I'll leave it go. That for whatever it's worth, I just see a lot of value in communication to the public and the parents on this for the investment. And that's it for me. Jeffrey? I don't know. The only thing I got is I just wanted to remind everybody, if you don't know, Jackson's having their community-wide yard sale August 1st and 2nd. So if you're driving through town, you might want to go around or go shop. But, uh, and I know Mark Mason's going to bring the football team down and help them set up the field and stuff. Uh, if they need it, you know, you volunteer Saturday every year. That's all I have. All right, so that brings us to Kirk, administrative report. Okay. Uh, real quick, I know we're taking the tour here, but the track update, uh, I did speak with them again today. They put the final coating of spray on top, the all-weather part. Um, they will start painting tomorrow, and it takes two days. So they'll paint Friday and Saturday, and then they're going to pack up. They're from Virginia, so they'll be out of here. Um, I did send a message to R.T. Vernal today that they'd be done Saturday. So uh, he's going to get a hold of the fence company so they can put the fence, finish the fence, and then they're going to do their seat work. <coughs> Cover that. Uh, the bleacher and gym floor, we are going to go look at that. The floor's done. Uh, painting in the gym will start Monday. Again, they're going up to the, like the window. And uh, the bleachers are like the first, uh, not the first, I think, full week. So I think August 1st is a Friday, so it'd be the first full week in August. I think they're not supposed to arrive and start putting them in. So uh, remember, uh, we finished out our fourth year of Race to the Top. Uh, and they are currently over at the elementary school right now um, putting the wireless system on. So that will be done in about August 5th, I believe it's going to be done. It's supposed to be done. So the elementary will be totally wireless. Um, I'll go down to uh, F, August board meeting. Um, so we'll just talk about that and put some dates out there and see who, if there's any conflicts with anything in August. Uh, track signs. So we want to make sure that, you know, if we're taking uh, and putting in some nice equipment for the kids and the community, that we're going to put four signs up. Uh, they're all the same. Oh, thank yeah. you. Now everybody can look at what the signs would say and stuff and kind of put them from someone else. Uh, that they would be posted uh, 
so we so we keep it uh, utilized properly, I guess. So it's going to be four foot by eight foot signs. So it's kind of standard, I guess, what most schools put on theirs, but it's a way to keep it uh, protected. Uh, keeps roller blades, strollers off. Um, it asks, kind of like if you ever go to an exercise place, the lane is on the outside, you walk with the joggers on the inside. And then it basically says, too, if we have events going on there, that, you know, they can't walk them up and have a track meet. Track meets, I guess. Nice. So uh, they should be in next week, actually, so we can put those up. Um, just order them. Uh, test results. Uh, again, uh, Kim and Michelle, what we do is we have the county come out and do a whole presentation of the report card to anybody who attends the board meeting. The final uh, testing scores and stuff won't be the report card will not come out until September. Um, I think what you're looking at, though, in your packet would be our, probably the way it's going to show up. Um, the district would be receiving a grade of a C overall. We are one indicator short of getting the B. And when you look at some of the scores, I know uh, Mr. Vega and Mrs. Fisk right now are coming up with a game plan on how to work on some of the indicators we did not meet. The high school did meet all the indicators and received a grade of an A. And the middle school missed basically the one uh, one uh, indicator by one student, or they would have got an A. So they got B. And the elementary, uh, I think they're working hard on a lot of things. Just have to refocus on what we're working on. So they kind of brought the the overall district score down a little bit. But I know, like I said, Mrs. Fisk is coming up uh, with a game plan on how to, I guess, bring the scores up from. Uh, from the elementary school, we're not uh, extremely uh, happy with the scores at the uh, elementary school, but um, you know we'll have to get all the teachers together and work on a plan too. Now, if you're only one shy of a B, had you considered having any reevaluated? We have. We did. We met. Did. Yeah, we've we've met. Uh, we actually just met again. Uh, and it didn't change. No, we sent out scores to be anyone that was close. We sent them out, and there was no changes made. Okay. We do that every year anyhow. We meet and we make sure all the kids that are, you know, free and reduced are marked properly and stuff. So, but no, we're one indicator short of the B, and then just so you do are a little bit aware that the cut scores did go up, so that um, we wouldn't have had this grade if the cut scores were the same as last year. Um, so instead of 75 percent. You need 80. Right. So we're, it's going to be statewide, so we're not alone. I mean, I don't know what everybody else got, you know, the, like the round. I just know we would have, on paper, done better if the same cut score right. was in place, but we went from 75 to 80. So, like you look at third grade, and the one we did meet would have passed last year. You know, this way the scoring went that we didn't pass this year. So, But, I mean, obviously we do have some work to do, and we'll get everybody together and work on that. But uh, Kim Davis replaced uh, Barb Roby, and she's going to come out in September and present uh, the final report card to everybody. Okay. So the pressure's on, ladies. Mm -hmm. I feel it. <laughs> um, it. This usually ends up being a pretty big topic, at least when people ask me questions, and I already mentioned to you somebody looked online. Mm -hmm. You know, the decision, are they going to bring the children here, or where are they going? Um, you know, I just finally kind of got a little bit of a grasp the way they scored it before, and now they changed it. So uh, the lady does a good job about helping us, but I think also if you could kind of uh, put what's comparable around us. Uh, so if we sit there and have to explain this, and, and maybe try and get it condensed, uh, so when we get done, it's not more confusing, it's less confusing, because people are going to ask. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I, I, I don't know how all the other schools have done yet, because there's three yeah. weeks so, of, of that people could cross-check to make sure kids that work here are counting their scores and stuff, because if, if they're transient and they move around, you, you know, you get three weeks to adjust. Right. Um, so I don't, they're not final right now. I mean, ours kind of final. They didn't really have anybody to change, so. Yeah, I just um, mean by that yeah. September meeting because then it'll mm -hmm. lead right into whatever you're going to have the conversation about. Yeah, and it's frustrating. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I'll give you an example of the high school, uh, when you get to a certain page in there, uh, 
actually went down a grade from an A to a B because of the attendance of students that are uh, free reduced. Their attendance uh, brought us down a grade just for those group of kids. And how do you control that? I don't, I don't know. Attendance is hard issue to control, but so we got demoted a grade because of that issue. Is attendance important? Yeah. I have a question. I don't know where this figures out in the grades, but we got Tori's packet of stuff, you know, that got mm -hmm. sent home afterwards. It had her PSAT scores, some other stuff. And you know, my wife and I are sitting there at the table looking through it. Where does sentence what grade does sentence structure start? Like third grade? <laughs> no, it is a form. Sure <laughs> the reason I ask Primary, is yeah. it just seems like, and, and talking to some other parents, not just my kids, um, they're weak on sentence structure. Like they don't understand the components of it. And and I, I know looking at her scores and my son's scores that you know that's not their strong point. Mm -hmm. I would agree with you because my son struggles with and, that. And I know that when they, by the time they hit Ms. Yankees, you know, it just seems like there's a backtrack there. So I don't know if that falls into the reading, into the whatever, but somewhere along the line, I, I don't know, and, um, you know, some of the other parents I've talked to, I'm not sure that, you know, yeah. we're catching it all. Um, so I don't, you know, you well, mentioned that to, yeah. to Kim when she's looking at, you know, the Well, the, the, the liaisons from the county come out and meet with each building, and they go, they break down so the elementary school will sit and break down all their stuff, mm -hmm. all their indicators, and then the subgroups, and they do that with them every year. Yeah, yeah but all, all the test scores for, for all my kids, all the way through sentence structures, just, yeah, it's a recall. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, I'm not saying anything, I'm not saying anybody's fault, but I'm sure I'm not the only child in the system that... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the office update, I'll give you just the dates and title today and stuff. And again, I put some of these on there, but we'll look at them when we go over there. The science room updates, uh, the four rooms have been insulated. They put a mixture of uh, rolls, and then if you if you have been in the science rooms, the cathedral part, they had to blow the insulation in. So Boken Sons was out uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and did all four rooms. So we'll see if that helps address some of the... They, they said it would, you know, help a little, so I don't know to what extent, but we'll go from there. Good. So they did all the outside rooms? No, they did the, the two... The corners? Yeah, the four rooms, so okay. the two, so all four science labs. Okay. Um, we are looking at the high school and middle school parking lot to see if we can get it sealed. We've got some cracks we want to take care of before it gets worse, so it doesn't cost more down the long run, so we're getting, uh, Jim's getting price on that from a couple companies. Uh, technology update, just I was going to mention about the wireless, I already did, and then the laptops and iPads will be coming in. Uh, we ordered, uh, any more iPads? There's like 620. Well, laptops or iPads? 90, 90 computers. And then uh, the we iPads, we haven't ordered them yet. Okay. <coughs> So, and then, uh, but they're coming out of a grant, the iPads. Uh, and then the grant updates, we did submit, uh, we haven't got verification, but we did submit already all the grants we get for the CCIP, which is our, our Title I services, and our uh, Part B, which is Special Education Services. Uh, we get money for that, and we got a rural grant this year that we haven't, we didn't get last year, so it's 15000 for a rural grant. So everything's been submitted. Um, and uh, I talked to the gentleman from Columbus, uh, and we did it kind of did it together. I had it all done, and then he went over it, looking at it online with me, and it seemed like everything was in place. So he said to send it, so we sent it. It takes a while to get back verifying it, because you have to match up the goals and everything with it. So. Uh, and custodian update, or cross country update. Uh, we are currently hunting for a cross country coach. Mr. Kenny is going to start practice next Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, see if Mr. Vega can actually do a parent broadcast for that so kids know to be here. So we're in the process of looking for a coach, but Mr. Kenny is going to start that up. Um, custodian update. I uh, just want to mention that the custodians are working very hard, doing a great job on all the remodeling over there. They're drywalling and plastering and stuff, so 
working hard, and uh, what John and I wanted to do is we did it a couple years ago that we wanted to do a appreciation lunch for the custodians for working hard all summer. We usually get them like subs and pizza and sit down with them and have lunch, so we're going to do that in August, I think. That's a good idea. Okay. And then Success by Six, I don't know if you saw the big article in the paper that was <coughs> covered, and it was at Campfield Hour starts August, uh, I think the 4th, I think it starts. And that's for uh, incoming uh, kindergarten students. And that's paid for by United Way. They pay for teachers, the aid, and the busing. So I assume that. Good. That's it for me. All right, very good. That brings us to John. Just one topic for tonight. I attended the meeting yesterday on House Bill 9. It's a requirement for the designee of the board to attend a public records forum. So I attended that yesterday on behalf of the board. We got the certificate and give you a copy of it. So all the, all the current board members are covered for House Bill 9. Thank you. Other than that, that's all I have right there. All right. Legislative report? I don't have any. All right. Public presentation. Any of our audience here want to? Anything to say? Ask what? Questions? <laughs> Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Adoption of the consent calendar. Motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Dr. Tharp. Second by Mr. Mischoli. Ms. Gross? Yes. Mr. Catania? Yes. Mr. Mischoli? Yes. Dr. Tharp? Yes. Mr. Wolf? Yes. Jackson Melton, wish you well and success. <laughs>